take one? Is there a certain score to settle with Villanova considering what happened last year? I wouldn't say there's a certain score. We're just trying to get through the day, take it one day at a time. Each practice, we're just trying to improve. As you look at this Villanova team, they have a lot of coach that they have a lot of their you know key uh, players back. Uh, do you anticipate the same type of team that you played last year, or do you see any anything that possibly could be different with them on offense? I can't exactly say I will anticipate the same team because every every year a different team is reborn. So I expect them to have a lot of impact players on their team. How do they what they do offensively? How does it compete? You guys see some interesting stuff when you play Navy and some other teams. When you play them, they do some, some interesting stuff on offense, too. How does that compare? Like, did you guys learn a lot from playing against Whitney last year? Because he's able to slip out of tackles and stuff. Do you, you feel like you're better able to anticipate some of that stuff now on defense, what they do, based off of what you saw last year? I think as as we keep preparing for the for the game on Friday, I think eventually we'll be able to, to, to see what he likes to do and try to help that we could prevent it. What about defending Caesar? Because he's another guy that ends up all over. They do all sorts of different things. Caesar's a very shifty, great athlete. It's going to be hard to stop him. Palumbo, how would you describe the uh, mood of the team right now? Uh, I think everyone just uh, you know excited for the opportunity. Uh, everyone just trying to work hard, get better every day, and then uh, you know we got through camp. Now it's it's, uh, it's the fun part. Now it's the season, so you know we're, we're definitely excited. John, have you guys had this take kind of? Marked on your personal calendars. You're saying the game. You know. Uh, yeah. Obviously, uh, everyone's looking forward to the season. You know, you, you go through all the struggle during camp with your teammates uh, to get to the season. So I'm not going to say uh, we're really uh, pointing the date because we want to play Villanova so bad. We just we just want to get into the season. You know, you know, start uh, start competing. John, where do you feel now as a center? Because at this time last year. You weren't the star, and you stepped in against Nova, and I think you and Al both said that you kind of learned on the job and then eventually really stabilized the line in a very important position. How much better prepared do you feel now? Where, where are you better than you were a year ago? Uh, I feel mentally I'm, I'm way more prepared. Uh, like you said, I kind of did uh, learn as the season went on last year. Uh, th this year I feel like I'm really reading defenses better, and, and I'm really uh, really understanding the game a lot more. So, did you Did you Sorry. <laughs> Did you um? Can you go back to seeing that ball go to the uprights last last year at the end of the Villanova game? Your thoughts, what that meant, what it felt like? Just amazed. I mean, just like in disbelief, rather. Um, and you just started to think back. I mean, previous plays in the game, like what happened. I mean, what brought us to that point in the game? Michael, uh, this year I think, from what I hear and sense, uh, the passing game is going to be maybe a little more balanced with the running game because people will be obviously looking at Bernard and, and Matt Brown and maybe try to take advantage of yourself and some other people. Do you feel that same way? Do you feel a certain sense of stepping up and, and making big plays and not relying on your running game to do it all? Well, um, as you saw at the end of the year last year, they started to um, bring – Bring down the safeties in the box, so uh, I feel that we're going to get the same thing this year, and that's going to open up opportunities for us receivers on the outside. How do you feel with Chester Stewart at the controls? I feel comfortable with the quarterback is at the control, but um, I'm, I feel pretty confident with in Chester Stewart's ability. Nobody's ever questioned his arm strength, I don't think. Uh, does he seem to be more accurate as a passer? Of course, it's only in practice, but you're confident that he'll be able to deliver the ball if you have a step or two on whoever's covered? Yeah, most definitely. He's That's something that um, he emphasized on working over the summer, and that's something that he's gotten better at. John, Al mentioned how much better Matt Brown has gotten. What's it like blocking for him? Is he kind of literally able to hide behind you guys sometimes because of how big you are and he's no taller than 5'5"? Five, five. Is he able to kind of sneak up on people that way and kind of explode through a hole once he pops out? Yeah, he, he's definitely a very shifty back. Uh, I know talking to the defensive guys, you know, we'll, we'll be uh, running plays in, in, uh, in practice and they'll be like, I can't see him, I can't see him. So he kind of, you know, he can kind of burst up through the hole, make a quick cut, and that's where he makes his explosive uh, big runs.
So your last year, this was the, this was last year was the first Mayor's Cup to get a little more to build up. Is, is there a rivalry growing between you guys and Villanova? Is there a little more excitement about maybe this year's game than there was last year? Wouldn't necessarily say that. Just um, it just so happened to be the first team on our schedule. I mean, that's the next team coming from out of last season, so um, I wouldn't say as much of, of a rivalry. rivalry. Any other questions? Thank you all. Please help yourselves.